Science 3. Materials and their uses. Learning objective. Describe the changes that happen in materials when they are thrown away. Have you ever been to a junk shop before? A junk shop is a place where people bring old, broken, or unused things from their homes or businesses. These things are dumped, sorted, and sometimes they are recycled or reused. You can find all sorts of things in a junk shop wood, metal, plastic, rubber, and more. Can you find something hard in the picture? Hard things that are solid and don't bend easily. Can you spot something shiny? Shiny things that shine or reflect light. Can you find something stretchable? Stretchable things you can pull or stretch. You did a good job looking for objects with different physical properties in the junk shop. We can learn a lot just by observing and describing things around us. Have you ever sold things or trash to a junk shop? Also known as Kalakal. Can all trash be sold in Kalakal? Not everything can be sold in Kalakal. Today, we will learn why some things can be sold and why others cannot. What happens to materials when we throw them away? Have you heard the term throw away before? What things have you thrown away before? When we say, throw away, we mean putting something in the trash because we don't need it anymore. I throw away my broken pencil. We throw away food wrappers after eating. We also have another word for throw away, and that is dispose of. Dispose of is just a fancier word we use, especially in science. For example, we dispose of waste properly to keep our environment clean. Activity 1. What changes happen to materials when they are disposed of? Materials needed. Two sets of the following materials, one fresh and one from the trash bin. Notebook paper, piece of cardboard, plastic bag, juice carton, soda can, glass bottle, 
banana peel, slice of bread. Step 1. Copy the table below onto a notebook. Step 2. Observe each of the given materials assigned to your group. What did the material look like before they were disposed of? What do the materials look like three days after they are disposed of? Record your observations on the table in your science notebook. Notebook, paper. What did the material look like before they were disposed of? Clean, dry, flat sheets or boxes, sometimes with print or color. What do the materials look like after three days they are disposed of? Torn, crumpled, wet, dirty, or stained. Cardboard, paper. What did the material look like before they were disposed of? Clean, dry, flat sheets or boxes, sometimes with print or color. What do the materials look like after three days they are disposed of? Torn, crumpled, wet, dirty, or stained. Plastic bag, plastic waste. What did the material look like before they were disposed of? Shiny, smooth, colorful, e.g., plastic bags. What do the materials look like three days after they are disposed of? Still intact but dirty, stained, possibly dusty. Juice carton, plastic waste. What did the material look like before they were disposed of? Shiny, smooth, colorful, e.g., juice cartons. What do the materials look like three days after they are disposed of? Still intact but dirty, stained, possibly dusty. Soda, tin can. What did the material look like before they were disposed of? Shiny, smooth, often colorful with labels. What do the materials look like three days after they are disposed of? Crumpled, rusted, dented, dirty, labels may be faded or gone. Glass bottle. What did the material look like before they were disposed of? Clear or colored, hard, smooth, shiny, unbroken. What do the materials look like three days after they are disposed of? Possibly broken into sharp pieces, dirty, dangerous to touch. Banana peel, food waste. What did the material look like before they were disposed of? Fresh, colorful, sometimes warm, and smell good. What do the materials look like three days after they are disposed of? Spoiled, moldy, smelly, and discolored. Slice of bread. What did the material look like before they were disposed of? Soft, fresh smelling, light brown or white. What do the materials look like three days after they are disposed of? Hard, moldy, with green or black spots, smells bad. Which materials changed a lot after they were disposed of? Food leftovers, bread, paper waste. These materials are biodegradable, 
meaning they break down or rot over time, especially when exposed to air, moisture, or microorganisms. Which materials not changed a lot after they were disposed of? Plastic waste, glass bottles, soda cans. These materials are non-biodegradable, which means they do not easily break down and can stay the same for a long time in the environment. What change is common to all the materials in the activity? All of the materials became dirty and smelly. Even if some materials didn't rot or break down, like plastic or metal, they still got exposed to dirt, moisture, and waste, making them unpleasant to touch or smell. Most trash materials become wet, smelly, and dirty. Some materials, like those made of paper, get torn and crumpled. Some materials, like those made of plastic, may get bent or crumpled. Some materials, like food leftovers, get smelly, have molds, and become spoiled. Some materials, like metal cans, get rusty. Some materials, like those made of glass, get broken into smaller pieces. Mina is collecting the trash from her household for the garbage collection this weekend. Describe the changes that occurred in each material after they were thrown away. Changes that occur in materials when they are disposed of and burned. Materials can be thrown away or burned. When this happens, these materials change. Sometimes, these changes can harm people, animals, plants, and our environment. This concept map shows what we will learn this week. We will fill in the boxes as we go through our lessons.